Hi, and welcome to the Environmental Awareness Training Course. This course will explain our planet's environment and why it is so important to safeguard it. You will learn about the environment and how it is being disrupted, the major cases of damage, and what we can do to curb the damage and in turn replenish our life-sustaining forces. So without further ado, let's begin. To start off, let's delve into what the environment actually is. The environment can be described as the totality of all living and non-living elements and their effects on human life. Non-living or abiotic elements include water, land, sunshine, rocks and air, while all live or biotic elements are animals, plants, forests, fisheries and birds. Now that we know what the environment actually is, it's time to understand the term environmental awareness. Being environmentally aware entails knowing how our actions affect the environment and committing to making adjustments to our lifestyles to protect the earth. Everyone must strive to be more environmentally conscious in encouraging the long-term development of our planet. In recent decades, the environmentalist movement has led many people to make both minor and major lifestyle adjustments to live more ecologically friendly. But the bad news is that our actions are still damaging our life-sustaining ecosystems. Our oceans are polluted with plastic, our climate is changing, and our forests are dwindling. Thousands of investigations undertaken by researchers worldwide have documented temperature increases at the Earth's surface and in the atmosphere and the oceans. The two biggest culprits are climate change and global warming, which are connected in a sense. Global climate change is already having an impact on the environment. Glaciers have reduced, ice on rivers and lakes is melting earlier, plant and animal ranges have altered and trees are blooming earlier. Scientists predict that global climate change would result in the following effects. Loss of sea ice, rapid sea level rise, and longer, more intense heat waves. Global warming is the long-term heating of the Earth's climate system, observed since the pre-industrial period, between 1850 and 1900, due to human activity. Fossil fuel combustion increases heat-trapping greenhouse gas levels in the Earth's atmosphere. The IPCC Climate Change Report 2021 provides new estimates of the likelihood of exceeding the global warming level of 1.5 Celsius in the coming decades, concluding that unless there are immediate, rapid and large-scale reductions in greenhouse gas emissions, limiting warming to 1.5 Celsius or even 2 Celsius will be impossible. To better tackle the environmental concerns we are currently facing, it may be beneficial to first understand some major environmental problems. Some of the most damaging cases are water pollution. Clean drinking water is becoming increasingly scarce. Water becomes a monetary and political worry as the human population competes for this resource. The water utilised by humans, animals and plants is polluted by industrial and agricultural activities. Air pollution Air pollution is caused by various gases and toxins emitted by businesses and manufacturing plants and the combustion of fossil fuels. Soil and land pollution Soil contamination is primarily caused by mechanical waste that removes nutrients from the soil. Simply put, land pollution is the destruction of the Earth's surface caused by human activities, such as mining, littering, deforestation, industrial, construction and agricultural operations. Land pollution can have a significant environmental impact on air and soil pollution, which can negatively influence human health. Oil drilling. This is a problem that is wrecking havoc on the ecosystem. Our reliance on fossil fuels is a worldwide addiction that impacts every element of life on the planet. Oil spills and offshore drilling endanger marine life. 
In contrast, on-land drilling suffocates the ground, and the burning of fossil fuels contributes to rising atmospheric CO2, which accelerates global warming and ocean acidification. Deforestation Millions of acres of forest are cut down for industrial purposes, such as large-scale farming, oil extraction and paper manufacturing. Deforestation leads to the extinction of wildlife and biodiversity because habitat loss affects the survival of many species. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, maintains an up-to-date red list of ecologically vulnerable species. Plastic goods production. Plastic usage accounts for a large portion of the waste that harms the environment. In reality, over 1 million plastic bottles are sold every minute, with 91% of these plastic bottles never recycled. Increased carbon footprint. The temperature rises, like climate change, resulting from human activities, such as the use of greenhouse gases. When the climate changes and the heat rises, it can trigger a series of issues and begin to devastate the environment we live in. Loss of biodiversity. The air you breathe, the water you drink and the food you eat all rely on biodiversity. Yet it is currently in decline because of us. The variety of living species on Earth, including plants, animals, microbes and fungi, is biodiversity. While the Earth's biodiversity is so diverse that many species have yet to be found, Many species face extinction due to human actions, threatening the planet's wonderful biodiversity. So, how can we change this awful scenario? Well, first, we have to promote environmental awareness amongst us. While Earth Day is commemorated every year on April 22nd, it is critical to our planet's health that we create greater knowledge of how to preserve our world on all other days of the year as well. Some examples of how you can raise environmental awareness include going paperless. Online services are incredibly environmentally friendly and can reduce the quantity of paper used to print bills and reminders. As a result, whenever possible, use paperless billing. Educating your kids. One of the most efficient approaches to prevent future environmental devastation begins at home. Teach your children the three R's, reduce, reuse and recycle, as well as the necessity of keeping the environment clean. Children who begin using these principles at a young age will boost the possibilities of the planet's survival in the future. Contributing to an environmental awareness cause. Investing some extra time or money in a cause that promotes a cleaner environment will benefit the Earth and make you feel good about yourself. Implementing green strategies. One of the most effective methods to aid our planet's survival is purchasing more reusable things and recycling. Reducing your use of plastic water bottles has a significant impact on the amount of carbon footprint you leave on the world. That's all for this video. We hope you now have a clearer picture of the peril around us and some ideas on how to mitigate it. To know more, head on to the next video. See you there.